How were your I love grades, it. Taylor? Did you get good grades in high school? I, I suspect you did. Yeah, yeah, I got good grades in high school. And I, like I got good grades throughout pretty much all of school. Super ranked in your school? Were you like top 10% or? No, I, I basically, I did like the opposite of what a bunch of kids did in that like a lot of kids tried to get as many APs they could their senior year as possible. Mm-hmm. And I got up, I pretty much had finished everything that was required by junior year. And so I made my senior year the easiest possible thing imaginable, like multiple study halls, multiple gyms. I took the the advanced placement of like one or two. Th- no, just one thing, I think, actually. I think I took like AP history or English. But yeah, I did not give a fuck my senior year. Once I got to there and I saw like a lot of my compatriots, it was a couple guys actually who I knew were really smart and were going to really good schools. And like I was talking to them and they were like, yeah, I really don't give a shit. I'm already into fucking Yale. Like it doesn't yeah, matter yeah, like, whatever the school was. It, I don't know if it's the same way in the UK, but in America, I feel like your junior year is kind of when they decide which college you can get into. Mm-hmm. Your senior year barely counts. Yeah. And once What's I was like, I'm going to Mizzou. Like oh, a I'm state sorry. School. The oh, yeah. 11th versus 12th grade and we stop at 12 unless you go to college. That's quite a while for this. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And if you're not going to like a really nice school, like I went to a, like a state school in here in Missouri. And so like once I realized like, damn, like I, there's no reason for me to like work really hard. Like it's I'm in top <laughs> public school, though. Like it's, it's a the good top choice public school here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good choice here. And like I, I really realized like it seemed foolish to me to go out of state needlessly when I and I'm glad I was confirmed on this because I talked to friends who like regret going out of state. But I remember like junior year, people being like, yeah, I'm going to go to fucking Boston College. And it's like, why? Because hmm. I like Boston. It's like. It's forty two thousand dollars a year. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And Wait it's a like, couple years. That's that's all your living expenses yeah. to live in Boston. And Mine? it's like you went to Boston and got a business degree. <laughs> you could have gone to Mizzou and paid eight yeah. or paid twelve percent of that total cost and gotten the same fucking degree. Nobody's going like, oh my god, you want to work in the ma- marketing division here at the Solus Corporation? You got a business degree from Boston. Well, you have horrible uh, ROI sense, so you're not hired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, with Hope, I, I like the plan I did with Hope. And in hindsight, I still like it. You guys can copy it if you want. I told her that I will pay. UNC is the, the top state school in North mm-hmm. Carolina, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I was like, I will pay that much, that much for a UNC degree. You can go anywhere you want. You can go to community college for two years and bank it. Mm-hmm. You can go to whatever, like the University of Boston and take on student debt, but I will pay the equivalent of a UNC education. And she picked UNC. So it became I would really have simple. very smart. Ta- from her. Taylor, Taylor, would you have been like me, like, like really leaning toward the community college thing and banking? No, no, I would have gone. No, no, no. Stick with me here. He's going to trust you. So you don't even have to go at all. <laughs> you can go get a job and he's going to give you like $30,000. I'm a, a I'm a, just a drug dealer at the school <laughs> making oh. huge amounts of money. No, I, I, I like, Perfect. I know so many people, like the smart move genuinely was community college for the first two years, then going to a traditional four year university. The people I know who did that, like they just, they seem like more, they got a they got a healthier relationship throughout college with like all the partying and everything than people who went to the four year experience did. That's interesting. I, I'm actually really curious about that. So I will line up that the financially smart move is to do that. Nobody knows or cares where you've got your first two years of college. They yeah. want to know where your degree is from. Community college transferred into your favorite school, like all that stuff is the same. It's where your degree is from. Cool. The only question mark i have is what if you're a guy who's like influenced by your peers you know if you could land at whatever like mizzou or unc or a place that has quality students maybe you become a quality student whereas if you go to community college where half of those people aren't serious about school and don't even finish that Mm -hmm. like young woody might have fell in with that half that's a good point and like it could almost be self-fulfilling because like the I I, like now that you say that, like I think about people I know who did the community college route, dropped out of community college, never got a four year degree. Not that that's the end of the world, but I like, you know, Uh a couple of them are successful on their own. But the people I'm thinking of who went to community college and then did the two years of school and who are very successful now, it's like, yeah, they were going to be successful no matter what. Like it was because of their 
like foresight and intellect that they were like, oh, I can bank a huge amount of money and kind of get a head start on the rest of my peers and my age group. Oh, I'll invest because these are the same guys now that I'm thinking about it who invested in homes way earlier than everything else. Like everyone else was still wanting to live in the city and party in apartments and they're like buying reasonable homes for rental properties and in the suburbs. So I, I think you're probably right. If you're if you're someone who wants to be a good student, you will be. I remember not that I was like a glowing student or whatever, but I, I have a pretty high level of just resting stress. And so like I, I couldn't enjoy stuff if I had like an assignment sitting over my head. And I had a lot of friends, a couple of which got kicked out of college, never to return or get a degree, who would be like, oh, I got a final tomorrow. Fuck that. And it's like, dude, you are there's a letter of warning from the administrator of the college right now on the coffee table here. Like like you you're going to get, I know someone who did that explicitly. They just got drunk, fucked around and they got kicked out of school. I do, too. The yeah. best guy I knew at like barry sanders console game football <laughs> didn't go to any classes <laughs> that guy no one could touch him at whatever it was sega but uh but he that's what he did instead of go to school did, did you guys ever have classes with the athletes at your school like the football players mm -hmm. did, did was it a good experience did they try we didn't have elite athletes like you did they were regular people Okay. There, there was this, I, I was in a sociology class. It was literally the last class I had to take to graduate college. And one of the guys next to me was in the same boat and he was like an O lineman from Mizzou in 2012 or whatever it was. And the, the biggest human I'd ever sat next to in person, like the most like country corn fed failure in the world. And like, it was hilarious because there was some bullshit social class that we had to take to get the credit. And it was like, what do you think about this movie about women's struggle? And I'd be like, yeah, I, I thought it was good or bad. I don't, I don't know. And this guy would be like, like for, he would get asked a question. And first thing he would do is take out his gallon of water and drink half of it. And then, <laughs> and then he'd be like, yeah, you know, I, I could, I could not, it did not keep my attention. Like, and it's like the, the film we watched for homework. I could not keep it. I got maybe halfway through. Wow. And it's like, and it's like, that's not the right dude, answer. At least lie about it. And the woman, you know, some, some, like a pre SJW, this was before all that, but the purple hair, the overweight. And it was like hilarious just seeing this guy not give a shit. Like, I wonder if he got I, I'm away with drafted that. by the Ravens. So I don't, really <laughs> give, I don't really give two fucks about this lame ass movie. You're trying to I, I was about to say, is he the equivalent of like a really pretty girl who like didn't have to develop those other aspects of himself because he get treated differently by society? Yeah. Based on this. Yes. He had like to see what he looked like in a chair was absurd. <laughs> <laughs> like just like you you see him sitting in a chair there's the it looks like he's levitating there's no chair there like, <laughs> it's just his big back covered the whole thing but yeah that was hilarious was he exceptional on the team was he a standout mizzou player he, apparently i didn't follow the football team that closely but he was one of the guys that like got drafted in a way that wasn't like practice squad i, I think i remember oh okay because a lot of guys get that practice squad Would, draft if you could get this is kind of a topic change but if you could sure. get like some of the um like like retired workout equipment from the Mizzou like college gym would that be like a cool thing? Oh yeah, dude, that equipment yeah. is like top tippity top of the line. It's uh, what is it? Is it? It it's starts with S. Painted sometimes too. What's yeah, the one that starts black with and S? gold? Is it Sorinx or something? Or yeah, Sorinx? I know what you're thinking. Yeah, of. Um, it's like I know they have it real nice lifetime fitnesses. Last night I found um some stuff that came out of the uh, Minnesota Vikings um locker rooms when they like Sorinx. Sorenex, yeah, it's I found a Sorenex cage from the Minnesota Vikings um, locker room last night with their like color scheme and the Viking head like That's on awesome. it and everything. Yeah, it was a little expensive, um, like like triple what I was going to pay. Um, so not, and I'm not a Minnesota Vikings fan. If it was like UGA, I could be tempted. If I could yeah. get, get the, like like that same shit, but like all UGA. But stuff it will stand it. up to your 2,500 pound squats, Kyle. Well, let's hope. <laughs> you know, you know, let's hope. Oh, and we don't want to hurt ourselves. <laughs> <laughs>